Fullerton from the Prosper Community Library, and we are officially back to school. And I know sometimes I struggle when my kids get home from school that I find myself repeating over and over again, put your backpack away, put your shoes away, get your homework done, grab a snack. And I find myself repeating that times three with three of my children. And I just wanted to share a helpful tip that I use at home that might help you too. It's called a when you get home, please picture graph. <laughs> and what I've got here are different things that I find myself asking my children to do every day when they get home from school, such as put your backpack away, put your lunchbox in the kitchen, put a water bottle in the sink, put your shoes away, put your mask in the laundry, have a healthy snack, finish your homework, read for 25 minutes. I find myself asking them over and over again if they've completed all these activities because the first thing they want to do when they get home is to play outside or maybe get on their electronics, which I totally understand, but sometimes we have to get some of those important things done first in order to earn some of those really fun privileges that we have at our house. So all I've done here is I went into PowerPoint and I made just a few columns and, entered some, and I just entered some of the pictures that would be helpful for my child that's not yet reading and then for my children that are can always just read it themselves too. I hang this right by the backpacks when they come home so they can see visually what needs to be done before those things can happen. And also, I, I don't even have to say, did you put your lunchbox away? The only thing I say is, did you finish everything on the list? And if they tell me yes, and I take a little peek and everything seems to be done, then they can go play or have electronic time. But if I say, have you finished the list? And they're like, oh, I forgot something. And they run back and finish it, and then come back again and tell me they're done with the list. Then it's much easier for me to allow them to have that extra free time. Just a little tip from the Prosper Community Library. And don't forget, this one is really important. Have a good day.